Hello, and welcome to our Nano Lab. Today we will be demonstrating how to use a mechanical pipette. The pipette we are using today is the Biotics Cobra BTX20 with a volume range of 2 through 20 microliters. BioBasic Canada pipette tips will be used to complement. Pipettes must be kept at their maximum volume, this one at 20 microliters to maintain accuracy. As shown, the range of this pipette is between 20 and 2 microliters. A pipetter has two stops. The first stop indicates accurate measurement of the set volume, and the second is used to expunge the remaining fluid from the tip. The tip box is opened and kept open for only as long as the experiment requires tips. Take care not to contaminate the tip box with spills, skin contact, or breathing or talking over the exposed tips. A tip is attached by a firm linear force, taking care to seat the tip, yet not too much force that the pipette may be damaged. This example procedure requires 7 microliters of water, to which the pipetter's volume is set. To begin, the pipette is plunged to first stop, expelling 7 microliters of air from within the tip. The pipette tip is submerged just below the surface of the fluid in the vial. Then the pipette is released slowly. The volume is only accurate if only the intended fluid is drawn, as it can be skewed by air bubbles. The tip is then introduced into the bottom of the mixing vial, and the pipette is plunged past the first stop to the second, which completely empties the contents into the vial. The tip is then removed from the fluid and the pipette is released. The tip is then ejected from the pipette into a waste bin. The example procedure then requires 14 microliters of sample X. 14 microliters of sample X is transferred into the mixing vial using the same method. To mix, the sample can be vortexed and centrifuged, or using the pipette by pipetting up and down, taking care to pipette only liquid as some samples may degrade if bubbles are introduced. The tip is once again ejected. The tip box is then closed to prevent contamination. Our solution of 7 microliters water and 14 microliters sample X is then prepared. Shown here is a well-contained sample, compared to samples incorrectly mixed. This may happen if the samples are not pipetted to the bottom, air bubbles are introduced, or if the vial is overturned. Also shown is the correct volume of sample X in a pipette tip, compared to a tip that drew air bubbles. Thank you for watching. This has been our Nanolab.